This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Dim Dim and the National Fight Against Drunk Driving. Over the limit, you get arrested. Because you're a moron. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques that go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about depth of field, 35mm adapters, and showing you Film Riot's very first promo. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. This is Ryan Conley, and I'm here in South Florida to find out what you think about our new show, Film Riot. <laughs> What do you think about the internet sensation that is sweeping the nation right now, Film Riot? A uh, film of what? Film Riot. Film Riot? What is that? What? <laughs> uh, I haven't seen it. Film Riot. I have no idea what that is. I'm not familiar with Film Riot. I have not. No, sir. No, sorry. Nope. You're kidding. Never heard of it. <laughs> the greatest show on the internet. You, you don't know what it is? Nope. Have you ever heard? A lot of time on the internet. You said, ev evidently not. Joel. And I, th I think the show is great. It's good for children. Oh! Oh! It's a family show, and I love it. Well, have you heard of their host, Ryan Connolly? Uh, no, not too much. No. No. Um. No. No. Well, that makes you stupid, doesn't it? No. Maybe if you got your nose out of the book, Poindexter. One of the sexiest men in America you've never heard of. No. <laughs> I'm the host. Oh! I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little upset. <laughs> don't be, don't be upset. I think you should buy me coffee. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's go. Film Riot on Awareness is an epidemic sweeping the nation. Are you going to idly sit by and let this happen? Well, you can help. Go to youtube.com forward slash Film Riot. Find this video, embed, post, and spread it to every friend you have, and help stop Film Riot on Awareness. <laughs> Since this was our first promo, I thought it'd be cool to give you guys a first look at it. And if you liked it, you can get it on YouTube and blog, email, IM, or Twitter your way right into my heart. And if you do, I'll give you a little, hey, thanks buddy, good pat on the bum. Unless you're below 18, then it's illegal. But let's get into the show. Hey fellas, I noticed that you always have really shallow depth of field in the show. Could you explain how you're able to do that when using HDV? Sam. I touched on this in an older episode, but I guess now would be a good time to get a bit more specific. This is Lettuce Direct's 35mm adapter called the Elite. A 35mm adapter is a device that allows you to put photographic lenses on the front of your camera to help in achieving a shallow depth of field. To better explain what I mean, let's look at some images that show the difference you can get when using the adapter. First, here's a shot with just a stock lens and no adapter. As you can see, the XL-H1 provides some capabilities for a shallow depth of field, but not much. Now here's a shot using the adapter and my Canon 50mm prime lens. Now as you see, there's a huge difference between these two shots. Being able to have a shallow depth of field goes a long way in helping to create the film look. But for me, the biggest advantage of controlling my depth of field is to be able to focus my audience attention exactly where I want it. Ryan Conley, what do we think of him? He's the sexiest man alive. He is a sexy beast. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> I want to be all of your friends. Let's just, go, let's just go hang out. Let's go to Starbucks and hang out. Setting up the adapter is simple enough. Start by screwing on the connection ring, then insert the body and tighten it down. Now if you look through your lens, it looks like this. Right now you're seeing the inside of the adapter. So you're going to want to zoom in until the frame is completely filled. Then focus on the ground glass by rotating your focus ring until the pattern on the ground glass is sharp. What you see here is the ground glass. Basically what happens is you put the photographic lens on the front. The image is projected through this lens and onto the ground glass, very much like the movie is projected onto the screen at your theater. And that's why you focus in on the ground glass, because it's kind of like bootlegging that movie and putting it on the internet. Not, not that I've done that. I've watched a couple, but... <clears throat> but anyway, all that's left now to do is pick the lens of your choice, throw it on, and film away. I literally said, that's your motivation, moron! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a filmmaker, so you know, it's what we do, it's what we do. Drinking and driving doesn't mix, and if I really have to tell you that, you probably have lower IQ than the bottle you're drinking from. The message is simple. 
Over the limit, under arrest. Law enforcement officers are gonna be cracking down on all you MFers that decide to drink and drive from August 21st through Labor Day weekend. So if you don't care about jail time, hacked up insurance rates, or most importantly, hurting someone else, you are a douche. But if you do care, take a taxi, get a designated driver, take a bus, or I don't know, don't drink. I mean, if you can't have fun without getting drunk, your personality probably sucks and you should just stay home watching some personality booster videos. Then you could get drunk all you want, not worry about anything because you're home already. Just a tip from me to you. Take it or leave it. I feel like this microphone gives me power. It does a little bit, yeah. Say something nice about me, I don't know. Um, the host of the show, which I'm guessing that's your show, sexy guy. Do you see? Lens adapters, although very much worth the money, can also be very expensive. And if you don't have the cash to shell out, there are still a few techniques that you can use to help shallow your depth of field. First, as we showed in a previous episode, if you move your camera away from your actor and zoom in, that will shallow your depth of field. Conversely, if you move your subject as close to the camera as you can and move the focus ring nearest to you, that will also help shallow the depth of field. And finally, a method that has to be planned for and I've only used a handful of times. First, put your camera on a tripod and set up the shot to where you know you'll be able to cut it later, like at the edge of a wall, then have your actor play out the scene. Then bring this footage into After Effects or any other editing software, then using your masking tool, mask out the portion that you want to blur out of focus, then add a lens blur to it. You could even add some color correction to make the shot even more interesting, and there you go. Of course, your actor can't cross into the part of the frame that you've separated, so you have to keep that in mind while you're shooting. And that's it, so let's go ahead and thank our sponsor. Dim Dim is powerful web conferencing without any hassle. Super easy to use, open source, and 100% browser based. With Dim Dim, there's no software required to host, attend, or even record your events, just a browser. It's so simple, just log into Dim Dim, start sharing your desktop, and I am your Dim Dim URL. When your clients click that link in seconds, they're watching your desktop live in their Mac, Windows, or Linux web browser with nothing to install. Best of all, Dim Dim is free, and you can support FilmRite by going to dimdim.com forward slash FilmRite and signing up. It only takes 15 seconds, and you could join the 3 million that are already saving money with Dim Dim's web conferencing. And that's it. If you have something you'd like to see on the show, you can email it to me at filmwrite or revision3.com, or you can find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. Also check out our Facebook if you want to keep up to date with the show or cool movie news. And I'll see you guys next Thursday. Have you ever heard of the internet? Yes. Telephones? No, actually. Very funny. Sarcastic. Is that your mom? Hi, mom. Whoa, wow. Do you just live at home? In college. College? Yeah. College or mom's basement? Be honest with me. <laughs> You're laughing. I'm not laughing. Ready? I'm not going to see this on like YouTube or something. No, no, we don't do YouTube. And three, two, one. Wait, wait, one second, one second. Hey, come. come on, man. I just want to ask you a question about Film Riot. Sir, you're being kind of rude. Did you really lock the door like I'm going to hurt? I'm not a sexual predator. Have you ever heard of Film Riot? Just say something. Stop whimpering. I'm not going to hurt your kid, man. Hey, kid, you ever hear Film Riot? You shut your mouth. You had your chance. You shut your mouth.